Hello, this is Talia with Blue Magic Direct, and I'm just going to take you through a full tutorial on how to download Kodi to your Mac OS X system from beginning all the way to the end. If you guys have any questions, please put it in the comment box, as well as please don't forget to subscribe to us. We're trying to give you the most up-to-date information on the Kodi program for all your mobile devices. Okay, so uh, just a quick thing before we start. If you do have a Mac uh, OS X system, be sure to um, unlock your security and uh, privacy settings so that it's, mine says anywhere, but you want to, sometimes if you um, open it up for the first time, you may only have um, your Mac store app or um, only store identified by the, the Mac app store and identified developers. But you want to put, make sure that's from anywhere, okay? So to just, if you do have um, any of these, so you just want to go ahead and click to make changes. I'm just going to quickly put my password in just to show you. Okay, so basically you unlock, and if you have this or this, basically just change it to that, okay? So you want to allow it from anywhere, okay. All right, so just close out of that, and then go ahead and get into your Google Chrome or Safari, whatever you use. And it's already loaded on mine, um, but uh, it's cody.tv slash download, okay? Cody.tv slash download, okay? So... It's going to bring you to the, the top of the page, but just scroll down a little bit. And you're going to have, click on for the Mac OS X installer. You're going to go ahead and let that download onto your computer. Let's give it a few minutes. Grab a coffee, come back. It should be uploaded for you. Okay, now once that's downloaded, um, make sure you go ahead, open it up, and it should be opening on your screen as you see. Now what you want to do, this you will get this in no error message if you did the first step, okay? So once you get to the screen, once you take your Kodi and we're going to drag it to our applications folder. It's going to copy it right to the Applications folder. Okay. Now you can close out of this and go ahead and close out of that. And once you do that, you should be able to go to your Applications, your Launchpad. And right here, you should go ahead and see that application. Why don't you go ahead and double-click on that and get right into it. Yes, you want it downloaded and you want it opened. Okay, mine says TV add-ons. Usually it'll just say Cody, um, but mine has already added on all of my add-ons in here because I previously had it on there. But what I'm going to uh, walk you through really quickly is the process of putting your add-ons if you're just um, doing this for the first time. Okay, what I'm going to do is basically click out of this. I'm going to click out and, cl and go back in. I'm going to just go ahead and quickly exit. This is what I want you to do as well um, when you first load it. Um, exit out of it. Okay. And then it should be on your your desktop, your icons there. But go back into it just so that it's freshly loaded. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of walk you through um, the steps in order to add your add-ons. Mine is already there because it's already been in the system. But go ahead and go to System, and then you scroll right over to your File Manager. Okay, and you're going to go ahead and add a source. Double click it if it doesn't click right for the first time. Put in HTTP forward slash fusion dot TV add ons. Dot ag. That's 
fusion.tvaddons.ag. You have to put in that full address. Once you're done, click done. And you're going to have to name it. Um, I named mine Fusion. Just so I know which one it is. Okay. Go ahead, click done. And you're going to click OK. And it should go ahead and pop up right in there. Okay. Once you get into that, you're going to basically go back out. You can use your arrows. You can use the home button and go to system. Click on system and go to add-ons and install from zip file. Okay. You're going to see fusion in there. Click on fusion and you're going to press start here. And you're going to go all the way down to the last one for the video hub wizard. Okay, it should say configuration wizard add-on updated. And you're just going to, you can arrow out of that or go back home to the home button. And you're going to go to programs. It's already loaded on mine, so, but I'm just going to show you, you're going to, Click on Config Wizard. Okay, and you would configure it for your Mac. Would you like TV add-ons to customize your add-on selection? Just push yes. Let that go ahead and load up. Give it a few minutes. It's going to go one more time. Second round of extracting the zip. And okay. Now, what you, once you're done with that, okay, it froze on me again, um, maybe because I already have it loaded on mine, but I'm going to go in here and force the quit. For some reason, mine's just not responding because I probably preloaded a few times. But uh, just to let you know, and then once you you can get out of that and basically go back into it, it should go ahead and automatically update for you. Um, mine's only froze because I said I already have this on my computer, and so it's probably like, "What's going on? What are you doing?" Okay, so um, Exodus is the most widely used. TV add-ons application. Um, you can check out the latest movies. Okay, in theaters. Usually, I love in theaters. It usually gives me the most up-to-date, um, you know, movies that are out there. And it'll give you some options. If you see this, it'll give you some options in order to, to watch the video. Just giving you a little bit more information. I'm just going to play a very quick snippet of this so you can kind of see the quality of what you're getting. It's just making sure that it's trying to find all the sources to locate this movie. Okay. So just a quick thing, um, they have the 1080p, which is the most highest quality HD, and then some have the SD quality. Uh, you see, click on um, the HD quality just so it prevents any um, long buffering. If you do experience any buffering with the program, um, just go out and select another one. So you see very clear, clear picture, um, very cl clear quality there. 
okay it's playing with no issues um if you guys have any comments or any questions or anything that you would like for us to demonstrate um on the program or if you have any other questions or concerns definitely let us know uh, we're trying to give you the most up-to-date information um also consider visiting our website which is www.bluemagicdirect. I'm just going to take you there really quick so that you can see our website and see what it kind of looks like. We are Blue Magic Direct. And that's us. We provide the most information, um, resources. We do give you the most up-to-date um, tutorials. Um, we blog just about every day. And, you know, we have a pretty cool thing going here. So if you have any information or you want to get in contact with us, um, definitely, you know, shoot us a line. Let us know um, what help or assistance you're needing. Uh, we have two divisions. Definitely um, 24 hours a day. We can definitely answer any questions you have uh, about putting Cody on your mobile devices. We're here to help. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited. If you have any questions, let us know. And until we see each other again, happy viewing.